Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. It is day 21 of this flute bootcamp series and today we are really getting like stuck in the mud, getting stuck into our low register. We are going to be using Tuffinel and Gobert exercise number one today again, but this time for a completely different purpose. This is one of my favorite things to do is take an exercise that we use for something else and kind of reuse it for something totally different. It just shows why these exercises are so great and so versatile and so exciting. So let's get straight into it. So Tafanol Gobert number one, we did it on Monday, I believe. Yes, we did. And this time we are really going to use it to really train and practice that low register. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing it on ha. So you're not doing any ta, you're not tonguing ta 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 ta, but just on ha 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 ha. So it's going to sound like this. And you really want to keep it as crisp, as sharp and as short as you can. You don't want to hear the hua hua hua. So you don't want to kind of a thing. I've done a video on low notes on how to really find and focus and, and find the control here for those low notes. So maybe go check that out. I'm not going to get into much of that today. But this exercise is really about letting these muscles find that focus that we spoke about in that video and giving them a chance to really just develop. So a little bit of patience in the beginning, this might not feel so fun. And perhaps you don't want to start on low D. Perhaps you want to go to G rather and just start a little bit higher up. Just a little bit more of a comfortable register for now and you can kind of work your way down towards the lower registers. You know, I've, my experience with a lot of this low register stuff is if you try too soon to go too low down, you just get frustrated and you give up. And that is not the point. The point is really for you to persevere and keep going and just slowly develop these muscles, develop these muscles and move your way down. You know, really, it's like weightlifting. You wouldn't lift like, I, don't, I, have, I have no idea about weightlifting, but like you wouldn't lift a really heavy weight when you like just starting out. You can hurt yourself. So same thing, let these muscles, give them time let them discover what it is they need to do. Once you've done the ha, you're feeling quite confident that you're really getting like a really strong, secure sound down there. You can do two things. Firstly, you can challenge yourself and go down to the low C and do it on the low C. So you can do that or you can try do it on D still, but try the per this time. I've spoken about this. This is great for just helping develop this control here. So, don't push too hard, but also let's see where we do crack. So, you know, it's that same old game of you're not going to know until you try. You're not going to know how far you can take it and how far you can push until you actually go there and try it. So on the per and on the her, really see if you can push it to the limits. And sometimes you're going to get a better sound, other times not so much. And that is okay. We are all about pushing boundaries today and really taking it to the next level. Once you have got this, you're feeling confident, maybe you're feeling confident on that low C already, we are going to start adding that tongue. So you're going to keep the same feeling of the ha. Now it doesn't mean we're actually going to do a ha 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 necessarily on each note. It's more that the ha's help kind of like activate that support and get that support like woken up and like, okay, here we are. And you're going to keep that same feeling there while you're doing the tas. So and the same thing, I want you to push it and see really how extreme can you take this. And on the C maybe even. Oh, so I'm sliding around down there. Really great for those that lower 
finger, baby finger, well, lower finger, baby finger work as well, just getting him very nice and flexible. Once you are starting to get a good feel for the single tongue and starting to come relatively crisp and nice, nicely through, you can really challenge yourself with some double tonguing. So. <laughs> Or even on the C, let's try it. Okay, guys, I'm going to try practice this for three days, and in three days' time, I'm going to update you guys on Instagram how my progress is doing, and maybe you guys can even hear some progress after three days. This is not something that is going to be fixed after like one short little practice session. This is something that you work on also, maybe like for a solid week, really just focus on that low register. At the beginning, I actually asked my patrons to write down some goals for this practice series. And if this was one of your goals, patrons, or any of you other guys that did write down some real, you know, kind of goals for this this 30 day boot camp, and if low register was one of your goals, I want you to really use this maybe for a whole week even and just spend time on this uh, low register kind of really getting stuck into it, getting <laughs> getting to grips with that low register. I know we all want to avoid it and we don't want to really practice it. And anyway, it works so much better when we're in the practice room and then when we're in our lesson, it never works. I know, I know, I know. But the point is we cannot practice this enough. So I'm going to encourage you to really just patience, go for it, have fun and push boundaries. Until tomorrow, everybody, happy practicing and see you then.